Leslie McDonald, Customer Engagement Trading Specialist. As a customer engagement agent, you want to avoid annoying or upsetting customers. You also want to avoid giving customers any reason to doubt your ability to help them. Using forbidden phrases can trigger these negative reactions. In this video, we will look at some forbidden phrases that you should avoid when dealing with customers and phrases that you can use instead. By the end of this video, you should be able to identify forbidden phrases while engaging customers. Use appropriate phrases while engaging customers and accept explanation as to why some phrases are considered forbidden while engaging customers. Throughout this video, you will also be exposed to these employability skills, positive attitude, confidentiality, and adherence to policies and procedures. Let's take a look at some of these forbidden phrases that you should avoid. Thank you for calling O'Sullivan's Companies Limited. You're speaking with Garcia. How may I assist you today? Hello, my name is Nicole, and I'm not a happy camper right now. I'm looking at my insurance policy, and it's not what I paid for. Okay, Nicole. Just hold on a second while I look into this for you. Hello? This lady didn't even wait to hear if I could hold. We just saw forbidden phrase number one. There's no such thing as holding on for a second. Everything takes longer than a second. Never ask a customer to hold on for a second. Okay, Nicole. All right, so it's company's policy that I get your ID number in order to give you the information you requested. Forbidden phrase number two. Never say, it's company policy. A company policy is a guideline and should never be forced on a customer. The customer does not care about company policy. There are other ways in which you can remain within those guidelines without jeopardizing the customer-company relationship and provide good customer service. Okay, do you know the business hours for the location downtown? No, I don't. Well, can you get it? Mr. Cole, I can't do that right now. What can you do? This is the worst place I've ever had to deal with. I want to cancel my account. Forbidden phrase number three, I don't know. Forbidden phrase number four, I can't do that. Your job as a customer engagement representative is to assist the customer. The customer will question your usefulness and can get upset when you tell them that you don't know and tell them that you can't do. Now, let's look at how the call could have been handled better. Thank you for calling O'Sullivan's Insurance Company Limited for speaking with Garcia. How may I assist you today? Hello, my name is Nicole and I'm not a happy camper right now. I'm looking at my insurance policy and it's not what I paid for. Nicole, I do understand your frustration. May I please place you on a hold for a moment while I take a look on the account here for you? Okay. Thank you so much for holding, Nicole. In order to assist you further, I would like to ask you a few questions to ensure proper verification of your account. Will that be okay? Yes, that's fine. And um, do you know the business hours for the branch downtown? Well, I can get that information for you if you are able to hold the line for a moment. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We just observed four forbidden phrases being used. Hold on for a second. It's company policy. I don't know. I can't do that. Let's review what you have learned. Instead of saying, hold on for a second, use phrases such as, may I ask you to hold a moment please? Or, do you mind holding while I check on your account? Rather than saying, it's company policy, you can say, may I ask you a few questions so I can better assist you? Or, I will need to ask you a few questions in order to verify your account. As a customer engagement agent, you won't always have the answer to a customer's question. 
and you won't always be able to comply with a customer's request. But you can still deliver exceptional service by doing whatever you can to assist. It's your job. Thank you for watching this video on Forbidden Phrases, a part of our customer engagement series. If you follow these suggestions, you should be able to create a more positive experience for your customers.